because I feel like this is a product that you might be missing out on because you don't know what you're doing with it and you don't know how to apply it properly. Um, I love this, this is Gem of Vendetta, it's a pressed mineral powder foundation, it's got SPF 25 in it, so it's one of those really amazing products if you're looking for, um, you know, everyone always asks me for that sort of like all-rounder product that's going to give you some coverage and SPF and it's like a BB cream but it's got, you know, illumination but it won't make you shiny. <laughs> <laughs> there's the, there's like you know everyone wants these multitasking products so um I just thought I'd show you how to apply this um and it might just give you a little bit more um confidence in using and trying something like a mineral powder this is my little one that's been in my makeup bag so it's a little bit looks a bit worse for wear um, you're going to use your buffing brush from the custom brush set um, or a kabuki brush to apply this. Now I start from the forehead and I work down the way. Um, I've got underneath um, this foundation a face oil. So I applied my face oil this morning straight out the shower. So I just love a bit of a face oil because I've got quite dry skin. They really help. It's a, um, I really feel it's a really nice help just to moisturize the skin underneath. If you are not a dry skin and you prefer a primer or a moisturizer or SPF, just whatever you think um, is good for you underneath is absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna buff this into the skin, just like I do any other foundation, really. It's just, I guess, maybe we've not seen mineral powder foundations being applied as much as like a liquid foundation. Um, Maybe we've just not considered using a mineral powder foundation because, you know, we've not, just not been told about it as much. I think when you are, when you have been going for more conventional makeup products, a mineral powder foundation just doesn't feel like the thing that you would go for. However, I think once you get used to applying it and seeing the way it performs, it just makes a lot of sense and it's a really gorgeous little product. So I'm really getting a little bit of coverage now. Down here. Um, for me, that's probably where I would stop. I feel like coverage wise, that's really good. You saw, you probably noticed that I was going over my eyelids. So I'm getting really quite, I don't know what's going on with my eyes at the moment, but See, maybe having a lot of discoloration. But that's such a good product. You can go right over, right underneath. This is really good for sensitive skins. Um, you know, powders are much less likely to set off a allergic reaction. So if you find that you are allergic, you're really, really sensitive, the Mineral Powder Foundation might be a really good choice for you. Um, I find that it's often the liquids that cause a reaction. Now, if you are a liquid foundation wearer, um, or you know you like to wear BB cream, but you like to still set with a little bit of powder, you can also use this product in the same way as what you would use, you know, a normal pressed powder. So literally, more with a fluffy brush, you can just set over the top. So I wouldn't probably do this with if I've applied already with my buffing brush, but if this was a liquid, um, you just set all over the skin, like so. Um, Gemma's also got a really gorgeous little um, two-in-one bronzer blush. I love the terracotta color in this, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm a big fan, it really does suit lots of different skin types and tones and colors. So I probably don't really use this so much for like a contour, but I certainly use it um, to add color, liven up the face a little bit. It's got a really lovely healthy glow. And the consistency and finish is really quite similar to the powder foundation. It's got a bit of illumination, but it's not too much. I would even use that through the crease of my eye. Fortunately, someone's stolen my 
eyeshadow brush. So just through that little area there. Just to give yourself some definition, some shape. So there we go, that is how I like to use, I'm just gonna go down here. A mineral powder foundation. That's how you apply it with your buffing brush or your kabuki brush, whatever your preferred brush is, but it has to be something that's dense. Um, yeah, so a kabuki brush or the buffing brush is my go-to. And I don't like it to be too big either because I like to be able to get right into the corners of the face. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Would you try a mineral powder foundation? Um, you can see that luminosity coming through. It's really a really pretty, pretty finish. It's really a lovely product. I hope you're all doing well and we'll catch up soon. Extra, extra, extra.